Hey, how's it going fellow YouTubers? And this is Sick Eric back again with another video and today I'm going to be doing a little tutorial on how to turn your LG V30 into a Google Pixel 2. Um, Google Pixel 2 XL or whatever you want to call it. So uh, this is just going to be a little tutorial on how to do that, what apps to install, where to get them from, and what to do and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get started, alright? First thing I'm going to do is go to my list and first thing we're going to want to do is download the Google Pixel 2 Ruthless Launcher. And this is a modified launcher from the Google Pixel 2. And as you can see, it'll take you to the website and you're going to want to download the latest version, which is 3.0.1. And let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. Of course, you're going to want to make sure you go to your settings. Um, uh, go into your security settings, I believe. And you're going to want to make sure your unknown sources is checked. So let me go ahead and show you what the Pixel Launcher looks like. Right now I'm using Nova Launcher. I'll get to that in a minute as well. But I like Nova Launcher as well. It's more customizable. But the Google Pixel Launcher is really, really nice. As you can see, I like that little bounce it gives. Uh, you have all your Google Now stuff. Uh, you have a whole bunch of different customizations you can do. You can use a dark theme, dark text, force round icons, disable at a glance. You got your at a glance features. The only thing it does not support is weather for some reason. But your calendar and your traffic information, everything is still supported. Uh, home screen, rotation, stuff like that. And this tells you about the app right here. But uh, I'm jumping between this and Nova Launcher. You have all your swipe ups, swipe downs, features. So it's really, really nice. I prefer Nova Launcher personally because it just has more customizations. But this launcher is really, really smooth. And I'm pretty happy. Like I said, I'm jumping between the two uh, launchers right now. Um, but it's really, really nice launcher. It's fast. Uh, it's beautiful and it looks great and really really will add to the uh, effect on your device as far as the Google Pixel 2 uh, goes so check that out next thing you're gonna want to do is download a theme and I got my theme on the Play Store and it is 149 and it changes your wallpaper your menu your keyboard and stuff like that and your dialer this is if you're gonna start if you're gonna keep using the uh, LG dialer right now I'm using a Google dialer but I'll get into that in a minute but it changes everything it changes all your settings your messaging and stuff like that so it's a great base to uh, go off of and to get everything rolling like I said 149 on the Play Store Pixel 2 theme for LG V30 and G6 really really nice theme this guy does great work and you pretty much just install it and once you're done installing it you're gonna go into your themes and then you're gonna look for it right here, as you can see, Pixel 2 theme, and you're gonna go ahead and click on that and hit apply. And that's pretty much it when it comes down to theme in your phone. And then uh, next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is uh, I'll post a link for my video down below, because uh, that way you can check it out. It's how to disable um, your bloatware and LG apps that you're gonna replace with Google apps. So. It's a pretty simple process. Like I said, check out my video on how to install Package Disabler and to go from there. And these are all the apps that I had disabled. You're gonna wanna disable your calendar, your clock, uh, your home, easy home, launcher. I disabled the keyboard, messaging, and of course all the T-Mobile shit on there. So you're gonna go ahead and go through that. And it's pretty easy to set up, you just download uh, this from the market and like I said if you want more great detail on that go ahead and check out my video <clears throat> that I'll post down below but LG uh, package disabler okay anyways it's on there Sorry, wrong app. 
my bad, not paying attention. So LG package disabler. And you're just gonna just install this. I believe it is a dollar, if I'm not mistaken. And once you install it, it'll prompt you to download a uh, LG service service app. That way it'll run it. And of course it'll run an admin and stuff like that. And you're good to go, start disabling stuff. So once you have that gone, uh, start disabling that, you're gonna want to download all your Google applications to replace the ones you just disabled. So we're pretty much gonna go into your Play Store and you're gonna click search Google and you're gonna start downloading everything that you disabled. Um, I disabled YouTube because I'm replacing it and I'll show you that in a little bit. Uh, of course, I am replacing the Google, downloaded Google Calendar, calculator, Gboard, and stuff like that, clock. And like I said, these are replacing all of the LG um, apps that you are disabling, Android messages and stuff like that. So that's the next step to get everything replaced by Google. Uh, next thing we're going to do is download the Google Dialer. So, uh, like I said, I'll post links in the description down below. Uh, the link for this, I'll post down below as well. And what this does, it gives you a whole list of things to do to uh, make your phone look like a Google Pixel. Uh, let's see if I can find the Google Dialer. There should be one of the first ones on here. Here we go. Uh, Google Dialer. And the link that I'm going to post is for the a newer version of this APK. But essentially, you go ahead and download this. Uh, you're going to install it. And this is what it looks like. And it's really, really nice. It looks clean. It looks perfect. As you can see, you can see through it. It's sort of translucent to where you can see your home screen wallpaper really really nice it's fast I like it a lot and it completes the whole look as far as the Google Pixel 2 look and uh, once you're done installing that you're gonna want to go into your settings and go into your apps and you're gonna want to set this as default so you're gonna click on the configure apps over here and here are your default apps you're gonna click the phone app and you're gonna make sure you want to click phone as your default that way when you go and make a phone call if you don't do that it's gonna go back to the LG phone app if you do this, it'll stick with the Google dialer. So, uh, and then once you're done with that, you could go ahead and download the Google contacts as well. And like I said, that's on the Play Store as well. Just type Google. And you're going to search all the way down to where Google contacts is. And this will replace your LG contacts. Go ahead and set this as your default and you should be ready to go. Next thing on the list is going to be, when you got that out of the way, the Google camera. This is optional only because the camera on the LG V30 has more features on it. And this is why you probably got the V30 is for all those features. But I'll post the link down below as well for that. But for the camera, let's see if I could find it here. It's gonna be on this same website. You're just gonna scroll down a little bit more. Android messages as well. Download that using that instead of the LG messaging app. And Google Gboard as well. I disabled uh, LG keyboard. But for the camera, which does have HDR, you post the link right here. And the only reason I'm not using this, uh, it's because like I said, the camera on the LG V30 app um, offers more as far as customization if you want to just point and shoot download this app if you want the hdr plus download this app but like i said completely optional i do not have it installed but if you want to install it go ahead and do so uh, the live wallpaper that i got i'll post my video down below i did a tutorial on how to get that but it's pretty easy and simple let's go ahead and go to that link now this is the link right here. Um, you're gonna go ahead and scroll all the way down to the bottom. 
and you got your downloads right here you're gonna click on the APK uh, mirror you're just pretty much gonna install it and you are ready to go so now when you go home you will have your live wallpapers on here and you'll have all the live wallpapers run in Google Pixel 2 and like I said I'll post a link in the description down below if you want to go into more detail on how to install it but it's pretty simple you download the APK you install it and you're ready to rock and roll next thing on the list check that off uh, is going to be your always on display and you're gonna to want to make it look to where it's the default one the very basic white always on display uh, if you have it a different one just go ahead and go to your settings and you're gonna to go to display always on display and you're gonna to want to just click the basic one right there and it looks similar to the one that's on the Google Pixel 2 so sort of little little touches right there uh, next thing we're gonna do is download uh, a YouTube application and it's called Vanced I don't have the original um, location of this just a download but what this does is this allows you to do uh, let's just go ahead and go through right here this allows you to do on, the pinch to zoom feature which fills up the entire screen as you can see pinch to zoom really really cool feature uh, you could have the background play it works just like your regular YouTube app does it's just really, really nice to be able to fill that screen like on the Samsung phones and the Google Pixel 2 pinch to zoom right there. So let's go ahead and go into uh, some of the settings to go ahead and show you about it. And it's called YouTube Advanced, as you can see right there. And it gives you all of these different options that you could do. Video quality layouts, stuff like that. Uh, background downloads. Uh, your general information, everything that right here that you could do to uh, download it. And here's some more information on the apps and stuff like that. So really, really a nice app. I'll post a link for the APK download uh, down below as well. But it looks great. And you could download a, let's go ahead and go to that. You could download a black version or a white version. And you're going to want to go to make sure you're on the non-root version. There's two versions of that. There's a root theme black and there's a non-root. So you're going to click on that. And you got two versions right here. The first one is going to be the black version. And the second one is going to be the uh, regular version. So you're going to want to click on that one. It'll bring up some mirrors on the side for you to click either or. Uh, depending on your state that you're in and you're just going to go ahead and download that uh, let's see another thing you're going to need to download is uh, micro g it's an application that allows you to sign into the website or to the application and it's for youtube vans right here so you're just going to pretty much click download it'll search for mirrors it'll bring them up and you just choose which one you want you download that install that along with the APK YouTube APK and you should be ready to go to uh, just sign into your YouTube and you should be good and go and it's really really nice I love the pinch to zoom thing it's excellent uh, next on the list is going to be that is pretty much it right there so yeah with all of these things essentially uh, for the most part, we'll turn your um, LG V30 into a Google Pixel 2 uh, phone. It'll resemble it a lot. Um, of course, it, the LG has better hardware, headphone jack. The screen doesn't really have as many issues as the Google Pixel 2. Not that I'm experiencing. Uh, the only thing that's really missing is the Android Oreo, but hopefully we get blessed with an update for that soon. But um, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, everything that I posted up, that I showed you, like as far as links, will be posted down below. If you got any questions, uh, go ahead and uh, comment down below as well. Um, this is pretty simple, so if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Um, I will see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, and see you guys later. Peace.